What's going on guys? It's Caleb and I'm back with another video. So I just recently purchased some new lights for my videos. Uh, I got one there and I got one above me so I should be looking good from uh, front and back. So the channel's been growing so I decided I'm gonna make a couple improvements so that's why we got these new lights. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna jump on Illustrator on the iPad and I'm gonna illustrate some lights because I got new lights. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I went ahead and I got my document set up. This is just a 1920 by 1080 standard uh, web size. So I decided I wanted to do like kind of those old school film lights, uh, can lights I think they're called. I don't know, don't, don't quote me on that. But uh, I started with the body and then got the little light bulb in there. I definitely switched the background color. So I know this gray is kind of hard to see at first. I'm gonna switch it to like a blue color and that'll make it easier for you to see uh, on the illustration. I didn't want to do anything too complex. Uh, like I said, I just got these lights, so I've been spending a lot of time putting these together, making sure they look good for the videos. Uh, so I just decided to do a quick little illustration just to show you guys my excitement. And I know you guys like the illustrative content, so that's what I'm doing here. So we got the can light all set up. I got a highlight on the top, and now we're going to add some more accents. This part was fun. I got to use the pen tool to make the light beam coming. Um, all I did was just do four little points in like a triangle shape and drop the opacity. It really is crazy. I, I mean, this isn't, there's not a lot to this really, um, but just a couple shapes really end up making the whole piece come together. And I always say that in these videos, but that's just my favorite part about these illustrations is if you just think about it and you take a couple shapes, um, merge them together, you can get something really cool. And I just want you guys to uh, realize that just taking a couple shapes ends up making really cool projects. So here to get here it is again. Um, my favorite part of Illustrator on the iPad is the Shape Builder tool, just because on the right hand side it gives you a preview, as opposed to the desktop version where it doesn't give you a preview. You just kind of got to know what it's going to do really cool feature and I'm looking forward to that coming to the desktop version of Illustrator. So now that I got this one all together I grouped it and I flipped it and I left the center blank here because I got something I want you guys to do. So here's the final project. Um, like I said, I left that center blank because I want you guys to grab this image. You can grab it on my Discord or you can message me on Twitter or Instagram. And I want you guys to put something in the middle. So if you think, if you have an idea of something that can go in the middle and look really cool uh, with this, these lights shining on it, go ahead and do that and show it to me. I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. Well, there you go, guys. That's the illustration I have for you today. If you have any questions about design or you want to get a hold of me, you can join my Discord. That'll be linked below. If you guys like this content, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like it, you can go check out my old videos, and I have a lot more illustrations and designs. Or you can click subscribe, and you'll see all the upcoming things. Well, guys, that's all I got for you. I really appreciate you. Until the next one, peace.